All right, hello everybody. And now, finally, we've gotten to the final mission of this journey that I've started, that I started like years ago because I just didn't want to do the Protoss missions because I don't really care for the Protoss very much. But uh, this one's kind of fun. And I like this one because we can make use of the Terrans anyway. So it's usually what I do. But I know it might not be so cheap this way. <clears throat> yep. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. He wants to take the Protoss and assimilate them, which is pretty gross. Rainer wants in on it, which is pretty cool. Okay, so Darius doesn't really have anything to say, but I would guess that all is forgiven. All right. Oh, he does. You are, Mr. Uh, Jim Rayner. Okay, so we got to manage two bases. So I, the, the, our base here is actually in a far, a vastly superior defensive position, whereas this one is at the bottom of a chasm, which you know doesn't really doesn't really do much for us, you might say. Okay, we get a little time of peace, I think, here to go ahead and set up our stuff. We don't have a gateway over here. It's pretty. Bull crap in it. But anyway, yeah, so the conclave is not putting forth uh, those dudes to help us out, which I guess is all right. It's whatever. Uh, we never had their help before. We don't need it now. And especially with the combined forces of the humans and the uh, Protoss, actually, this will not be that hard. But it will be, it'll be some kind of, uh, what's the word for it here? Uh, this will obviously take the ability to split our attentions a bit. But once we set up a, a solid defensive line, we'll actually be in fairly good shape here. Okay. And we get twice. They don't have, uh, <clears throat> what's his name? What, what do I want to say? Only Farsi's coming into my head. We've got Mostarak. Uh, what's his name? Resources. We've got shared resources. Pretty much everything we collect is not pretty much. Completely. Everything we collect is for both sides. So pretty neat. We're going to eventually have to crest this hill here. No two ways about it. we got two geysers. There. That's pretty cool. The enemy is going to get cheap and easy. Which is pretty hot. But also it's going to be lame because we're going to have to deal with... We're going to have to deal with... Uh, the what's the stand? The nasty effects of defilers and other things like that, uh, which we're definitely going to want to be on the lookout for. I'm not a fan of the placement of our current uh, defensive line, so we're going to rectify that post haste. 
There are a couple of entrance ramps, a couple of points at which they can enter our camp. Um, and for these guys too. So we're definitely going to want to develop those. Uh, and we want to crest that hill, like I said earlier. We want to get on top of that hill. <coughs> I really want to get a factory going here. Because as we know, the heart and soul and what makes the Terrans so good are their siege tanks. Siege tanks are totally sweet, totally awesome, totally rad, totally bad. And you'll be glad when you meet Mad Max Madsen. So anyway, let's go ahead and put a uh, can. Yeah, let's put that over there. So we get like that side shot action going there. Should be cool. And like I said, the enemies, the, the whole center of the map is completely uh, what's his faces. Completely Zerg. They've Zerged up the whole map. That's, that's affirmative. That's 100% there. They're going to Zergify. They'll be all over us, like white on rice. So we had best, unless you're eating brown rice, in which case then it works differently, right? Cool. So let's empty you out. Get you in. Cool. But for now, they haven't taken any action, which is nice. We could be a little more liberal with the usage of our boy here, uh, Jim Rayner. Because he is... Uh, we may repair him now because we have the SCVs to do so. All right, let's go ahead and take a look down. I want to... Oh, let's look at our other avenue of approach here. We definitely want to go ahead and seal it up. Oh, how'd you buttholes get all the way in here? Oh, that's not good, of course. How many of those did they kill? Wow. And uh, I didn't really attack move with them now, did I? Okay. As you can see, they were quite effective in crippling my resource base. Which, uh, you know, I'm ashamed of that. I'm not ashamed to tell you. That's okay. Stuff happens, right? And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we've got going over here. There we go, cool. This is really what we want here. We want to be able to use our tanks to tanks a lot them. Tell them tanks a lot for, uh, yeah, okay. That's, that, that gag is dead. Okay, so there's a, an entry of a pro, there's a, there's a route they can come in here as well. So we're gonna have to watch out for that. It's a little bit far from the base, which is, you know, that ain't great. We don't like that too much. Let's uh, hot key that up as well. Oh, crap. Crap, Ola. All right. Well. Well, well, well. Wellity, wellity, wellity. So much for prudent scouting, right? Okay. Get you up here, too. Good. We've got our first tank, which is great. Let's put him up here. He's harder to get at, maybe. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. In any case, it doesn't matter. And we can also take steps to make it so our forces can easily get in amongst each other. And by that, I mean that once we get some drop ships going and things like that, we'll be in pretty swell shape when it comes to figuring out what the heck is what. All right, so pretty much everything down here is all zerged up. So we want to make sure to guard against that well. Aha! Speaking of guarding against the well, I don't know what route they're using to get in, but they've got a route to get in, that's for sure. Cool. Excellent. New tank. Alright, cool. So let's figure out what's over here. Aha! Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you can see that this is obviously a fraught route of entry aha okay so we're just gonna have to kind of bunker up a bit here we won't be able to stop it at its source quite at this point and that's okay that's okay i mean it's not really okay but it's all we got for now so tank up please i don't know they don't really have much in the way of uh uh hidden units okay we need to build more crap here what are we doing huh what are we doing Cybernetics core. Please? And give me a cannon or two. 
Make it two. We got money. <coughs> All right. Cool. All right. So, yeah, I want to get my defenses kind of set up here. And we're going to need to work on getting some flying units together. Because, obviously, those guardians will pose. Okay, that's all right. These guardians will pose quite the threat. Are we not to carefully take them out? Yeah. We got a guy who's hiding there, man, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Uh, like I said, defilers are going to come through and they're going to gunk up our stuff, which is rather annoying, but that's uh, that's part of the game, you know? We got a forge. Yeah, we got a forge. Cool. So, yeah. All right, cool. Keep building towards what we're trying to do here. Uh, I'm going to mostly go with scouts. But well, we will build a few wraiths to be able to counteract attacks by our uh, our good friends with the guardians, because obviously guardians are uh, a menace to society, and we're going to need to take them down with uh, lightning speed. And uh, over here, I'm kind of working up to I'll go ahead and build those guys. We got the cash right now. Might as well use it. That's funny. There have been no attacks to this heretofore against the Protoss. I'm guessing that will quickly change. All right. Let's take a look. What's further down south here? I haven't consulted a map. Haven't played this for a long time. Aha. Look at that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, all right. Not a big deal. Cool. But it reminds us that we are obviously going to be under pressure here. And we're going to have to uh, make sure to uh, keep our stuff in a sock. And keep it well in that sock. So not too bad. Just probative abortive attacks. Not, uh, those aren't really synonyms. Cool. So, with these guys, my main idea, my main thrust is going to be to take a position on this southern peninsula. i tell you why. Because there is quite the camp that we can uh, take up residence in. Uh, but, we're going to have to get past those gosh darn guardians first. And it's not going to be enough to just uh, sneak past them. Because once we fall under uh, concerted air attack, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be a whole thing. All right. So let's get the Stargate up. Mobility is going to be key. It's going to be key. All right. So setting more, more hotkeys than usual now. Yeah, the cloaking is not as big of a deal because, as you know, the Zerg have uh, so many de detecting units. Well, they have one detecting unit, and that's all you need. You know what I mean? That's... That's a defecting unit, or defecting, detecting unit that is ridiculously common. But yeah, this is the next place we want to go. If we can set up a camp there, we will be sitting so nice. But until we can dislodge those guardians who are just basically waiting there to murder us, should we be foolish enough to run across their path, we're going to have to play it cool. Play it real cool. Uh, let's build a science facility. Well, we've got the wherewithal, we better do it. All right, Stargate. There we go. All right, cool. And I really want to crest that hill, I really do. Let's go ahead and take a look at that hill. Let's go ahead and take a look. Since we are completely under no pressure at this camp. Now, we may soon be under pressure at this camp if we're not careful. But uh, until this time, heretofore, we have not faced an attack. Ha. Yeah, we sure do, don't we? Yeah, it would seem that we could take this camp just fine. Hopefully they don't have any Scourge, because if they got Scourge, of course, that'd be a problem. Okay, cool. Alright, keep pumping out the boys. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, yeah, give me a scout or two. 
Yeah, we, we've got to be careful because, you know, that's uh, he's not, he's pretty tough. He's pretty uh, well, uh, whatever. But if we get, if we get cons uh, faced with a concerted number of uh, whatevers, we could be in serious doo-doo. Okay. Uh, scourge. I'm just trying to map this out. Sorry if this is not very exciting, but it is something. Aha! Parasite. Well, that's okay. I don't care. Aha! There's an entrance up there. I'm sure that's not the only entrance, though. Oh! It is an expansion, though. A free expansion. Uh-oh. I better check out what's going on here. God, I send in the Ultra. I'm not too scared of the Ultra, though, to be honest with you. They never produce them in numbers that would uh, really evoke fear in my heart. All right. But so far, so good. Can you build the force? Because I'm going to go crest that hill. Oh, another one, huh? This thing kind of piecemeal in there. It's not a very good strategy. Yeah, like what a what a weird way to attack, huh? Okay, that's fine. All right. So I'm just gonna have him walk up here as ballsy as you like. Okay, and just come on up and take this because there's nobody there's nobody there. So why not, right? I probably should make another pile on him for Pete's sake. Stupid. All right, cool. I need those rates. Don't want to wait too long. Obviously, if we wait too long, we'll lose our initiative. Am I short a guy up there? I am short a guy up there. Stupid. Okay. So let's go ahead and set up a defensive, uh, some defensive structures here. Yeah. Whoa! I hate it when they do crap like that. Everybody hates it. Everybody hates crap like that. But, uh, hey, they like to do that. That's not a good place to put a cannon because obviously we're going uphill, which is lame. Nobody likes to fight uphill. Okay, cool. We need to save up a little bit of money here. This is Death Team 6, even though the other one should be Death Team 6, but I can't afford to do that folder all right now. I have to build some photons to make sure this camp is secure. And plus that can probably avoid some of those spawn broodling attacks. Go oh, if I put enough of these guys, that is. So yeah. I think this mission is one of the most fun. You know, sometimes you only have to destroy the overmine. Everything else is just icing on the cake. But I find this to be enough great fun. Oh yeah, right. Cool. I find this to be enough great fun that often I just go through and destroy every Zerg installation I can find. Because at a certain point, you are just you're just dealing it. You know what I mean? You're no longer fighting for survival. You're just having a good old time roughing up those nasty Zerg. And uh, the uh, the satisfying scooshing of their uh, facilities is just uh, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, as you can see, obviously this has a lot less resources. I think this has far more. Okay, we don't have crap for units here, obviously, which could be a problem, but I don't think it will be. All right, let's keep pumping them out. Pump it up, pump it up, right? I would like to eventually build something, a thing, right? Okay, no attacks against the northern side. Let's make sure we're using our scanning ability. What's down here? Nothing, wow. Huh. I expected to see a lot more filled map pieces, but that's okay. You are more than welcome to do nothing at this point. I will not fight you on that one at all. Okay. All right, there comes another attack. Right there, 
hopelessly outgunned. The only thing we gotta watch out for is defilers, which they'll start like using to perfection. I mean, maybe not to perfection, but to like, they'll use them well, how about that? All right, we got another guy coming out. Okay. And we need to start taking advantage. Oh, oh okay. It's time for you guys to go to work. This is why you can't, oh, don't, no, don't, don't you, don't you forget about me. There you go, that's, that's why you're here, baby. That's why we invited you to the party. Oop. Oof, aha, another spawn broodling attack. Lame, lame in the extreme. But there's not much that can be done about it. That's cool. Yeah, we definitely want to keep you guys safe from getting turned into whatever. All right, we are going to advance just a little bit here. I know you're like, when are you going to finally advance, dude? You fraidy cat. We will advance, gosh darn it. Oh, God. Things looking pretty good. Death Team 6 looking very good. And we'll probably be ready. Death Team 5 looking great, I might add. So what else can we do here? Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Mm, upgrade. Oh, look at you guys, already out. That's okay. Because we already found a new place to a new place to play. So cool. Alright. So let's let's do a little bit of scoutery here. So this is my main movement here. Aha. Okay. Yes, 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 I see. I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay. So the idea that I will try to perpetrate here is to get this mass of troops down south. And let's get another one of you SCVs down here. You combat engineers here. Oh, my son's friends here. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's an expansion right there. Sorry about that. My dog is always excited to hear anybody. So, what we're going to see if we can do is block that first. If possible. Yeah, let's just do this first, and we'll see if anybody tries anything fishy while we continue to amass more units. Ah, I want to build one of those science vessels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where at? Nowhere. That's where we're under attack. Death Team 5, prepared for action, should any action occur. Yeah. Ha-ha! Cannot survive for long. Good. Ah, oh, Jesus, Louise. We had cataclysmic success there. God dang it. Are you kidding me? Get up there. Idiots. We only got one of these guys? What the heck? Okay, now we've got a concerted attack coming in. But it's not really that concerted, I tell you that. Probably should produce... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, well that's... Good. God, I hate those guys. Alright, cool. That was unfortunate. It was unfortunate who he hit, too, because that's the one guy I didn't want him to hit, for sure. Hey, get back there and siege up, bro. Okay. They're still sending in attacks along that route. Not too bad. And let's, uh... They're getting more aggressive, obviously. They don't want to take... They're not going to take this line down, that's for sure. 
and hoping that we can lure them out, which would be quite nice. Yeah, they're not going to much care for this, but I am. But hopefully we'll lure out some of those guardians, and they will be in a vulnerable position to be completely, as uh, the French would call it, effed up. Actually, I'm not sure if that's too good of French. Oh, look at this. Look at these jerks right here. I probably should have... Uh, I built them so they could use the irradiate capability, but in that vein, I guess it would have been best had I actually researched that ability at the, uh, there we go, all right, so we've got hot action going here, cool, all right. We can actually, we'll eventually start moving our forces more up the side here. But let's go ahead and build the command center while we're at it. Expansions are important, right? Actually, is there is there a geyser over here? There might be a geyser over there as well. And I really, now that we're like kind of in the money here, is it depleted? No. Yeah, why are we so crappy on gas? I don't know. Aha, yeah, there is one. So let's try to... Do a little, let's try to be everybody to everyone, which is stupid. Wow, I didn't mean to build all those. Well, kinda, I guess in a way I did. Okay, so I'm gonna build. Aha, good. Good, I have baited him. Good. Excellent, eh? Or, oh, wow. We're not even full yet. All right, cool. We're, very, we're not very gas poor, but we are relatively gas poor, which is relatively crap. So anyway, so, because I, I, one thing I really want to do is start building uh, whatever's, right? Uh, armory so I can start upgrading my stuff an idea of mine that I would like to come to fruition at the earliest possible date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Price of success, right? Let's go put another cannon in for the heck of it. We're not really thinking offensively yet with our uh, death team here, but we're going to have to start thinking offensively, I think. And uh, so let's, let's keep building units at least, at the very least. I realize, god dang it. Now let's build additional pylons. Okay. But gee, I'd like to see what's going on, but I'm, I'm kind of busy. Oh, oh boy. You guys want to get in on this action right here, please? Yeah, I would have liked to have gotten that queen, but I didn't. That's okay. We still... We just lost some structures, which is fine by me. I don't like that very much. I would have killed one of our tanks through using spawn broodling. They're dirty, dirty rats. Aha! And also they used plague, which is... It's unfortunate, but it's not too big of a deal. Aha! And they did their wicked witchery again, which I'm not happy about, but. So this is the real advantage that the game makes use of here, is the fact that they're going to take your attentions and you'll be split many different ways. God, hurry up and fix him up, dude. But luckily... Okay, good. Whoa! Good. Alright, let's do some fixing. Let's fix, robots. Now, purples are getting frisky, as you can see.
but uh, I'm, uh, oh god, that sucked. I haven't been keeping up with my building of the Air Force forces either. Oh god. Luckily they don't have a clean path in, which is good. Which is very nice. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna have to do some serious drinking here. And by that I meant serious thinking, of course. Oh, that's, that's bad news bears right there. And a pretty clever tactic, if you ask me. Uh, whoa, all right. That's a concerted attack, if i ever seen one. And we'll have to give some uh, close air support here, I would say. Okay, good. We got him. An attack up here, which is no biggie. But it's definitely something we're going to want to deal with. All right, come on. We need to get on the business here. Oh, God. All right, well, we need to get at least two of these guys to get up to repairing. And you guys can get on the gas. Haha, <laughs> get on the gas. Okay. Oh, boy. I've got this guy, we gotta dislodge him. God dang. Oh, well, there he is. That's a problem, of course, because the scourge are going to keep us distant what we're trying to do here. Crap. Oh, that's bad news bears right there. Projectile attacks don't work on the guy in the cloud, I guess. Oh, man. We got to get in here and help out. That's bad news. Okay, uh, yeah. And at a loss for what to do with that guy right now. Since he is in, like, the safe zone. God dang it. That's bad news. At least that wore off. Oh, crap. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we might lose this defensive position here real quick if we can't do something about this. Because obviously we have a real problem there. Okay, anybody want to come over here and do some stuff, please? All right, thank you. Okay, good. Yeah, they sent a pretty fierce attack up there uh, that we were able to just barely survive. Uh, just barely survive. Okay. I want to move you up a little bit. We've got something back, at least. Oh, we got an attack coming against the uh, other zone. Da. Ah. Okay, good. Yeah, that carrying cloud, that's no joke right there. What, you didn't build a frickin' deal? Fine. Alright, get in here. Okay. So we've got a superior position. We're going to have to take good advantage of it. And we 
we're gonna have to now that we're like so flush with resources we better make use of it okay cool Try to make it so there's not a whole lot of room to run for them. God dang it. Well, that sucks. That's okay. Um, we're gonna need. We're gonna. I need to take out that gosh darn greater spire. That's the long and short of it. That's what I'll tell you. Is that I really want to take out that greater spire. But I need some tanks for that, which I don't have right now. Oh, god dang. Really? You're both stuck in there? Fudge. Okay, that's okay. Not really. It's not really okay. I build a bunker up here. So that's what we're gonna. I'm gonna kind of try to concentrate on doing here, is getting myself. And don't forget these guys. Obviously, I am forgetting these guys almost completely. Forgetting these guys at this point, uh, which is crap. But uh, you know, they're under a lot more pressure over there. Let's get that robotics facility up. Maybe a couple more cannons since we got the money. Why the heck not, right? I go back to work, boys. Death Team 5. Very good. Death Team 6. Kind of weak. But what are you going to do? All right, cool. We got some tanks. We got a tank, is what I mean to say. gonna kind of creep up to it a little bit can I hit that actually can I hit that ah it's funny okay cool uh, let me uh, use this and see if this will no we can't hit it from there we're almost there which is pretty sweet and that's kind of we need to be a little bit closer to do it so let's see if they'll let us build this so let us build this, we'll be in great shape. Because then I can move my tanks out. Okay. Reconstituting here. Which is great. These guys are kind of free. Okay. Aha, good, alright. Kind of lured him there, that's nice. Oh, that'll send all of the worst things in the world against us, which is fine by me. Well, kind of, it's not really fine. Let's just make sure we can keep, yeah, got to keep the scourge back. That's the most important thing. Uh oh. There we go. Okay, good. As far as I'm concerned, they're laid bare now. We've got to get on it while we can. We've got to get on it while we got the chance. Get over there, goofball. Build another one while we're at it. Don't pursue. We all right down here? No. We're, well, I mean, we're, ah, gosh darn it. So really stupid on our part. Oh, god dang it. Also really stupid. That was pretty cool distraction method they, they, they used right there. Because I have to check this out. Because this is our defense right here. Hey, where are you going? Not you over there. Hopefully you won't get killed. Oh, jeez. This is terrible. Just absolutely awful. But... If we can survive long enough in this position, we'll be great. Cool. And, fortunately, aha, they came around the long way, which is pretty clever on their part. I'll give them that. Okay. Good. Aha. Excelsior, or whatever. 
don't even know what I mean by that. I wonder who said that. I don't remember who said that. But uh, they said it once on uh, The Simpsons. And then, uh, geez, that's good enough for me. I guess I don't have to know the real source uh, material. So let's go ahead and build our bridge. And uh, let's continue pumping them out here. And uh, get in there, you idiots. Man. Did not realize we do not have enough Marines. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Got it. Noted. Jerks. Can we move these guys up? So, yeah. So, just kind of prepping, prepping the battle space or whatever. Putting ourselves in a very good environment to continue our assault against them, felonious or not. Now, we might start going down to the ground now. Uh, we're going to probably need some more tanks and for more tanks. Obviously, we're going to need some more. What's the word for it? Okay, let's look at our other team. How you guys doing here? You guys doing pretty good from what I can tell. You haven't really been threatened. And so let's work on you for a little bit. You're also almost at your limit, which is annoying. But it's my fault, of course. Uh, because I haven't been paying very close attention. Alright. Let's build this. Build me some darn pylons. Gosh darn it. We're like so rich right now, but we can't build anything because of the ridiculous uh, high cost units and also the ridiculous not pay attention uh, stylings of me. So I'm sorry about that, folks. We do have a nice little force built up. We kind of get these guys on our heels, but we're not able to really take advantage of it right now because of supply problems. Uh, okay, let's see if we can go down to ground level here. All right, we've got a sunken colony right there, which of course, is all trouble for us. Let's see if we can bring him right to the edge here. Oh god. Alright, okay, okay, I can't do that. Such things will not be allowed. That's fine. Can you heal him from there? No, I can't. I'm sorry, where is this Ugh. That's why you gotta pay attention to stuff. I was going to say, where the heck is this all going on at? Okay, Death Team 5, you want to help out before our boy gets killed here? Although he doesn't appear to really be in any serious trouble. Yeah, those guys are just... They're all power, you know what I mean? All power. Uh, but really, we need to start on our road to, uh, road to something, ah, crap on a crutch. See, this is the kind of crap that happens when you're not paying any attention, or not paying enough attention. You're too poor to pay attention. Okay, we need more tanks, gosh darn it. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, oh, we were able to kill him, good. But we do need uh, to do a little bit of fixing over here. Some quick fixing, I'll say. We need a quick fix. Operation. So far, things are not too bad, though, I'll have to say. Not too bad. But we do need to get down to this ground level here so we can... Uh, we might want to. We might want to build another force to come around the other side. Uh, now that I look at. Now that I'm actually able to look at the map here, you know, because we are pretty. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty. Okay, just pump them out. Pump them out. Pump them out. You know what I mean? Just pump them out. Cool. But obviously, a lot more good will be done from this particular side here, where we're closer to the cliff. Hopefully we won't see another concerted attack. We've destroyed their ability to send out guardians, so that's good. But yeah, so let's go ahead and start to get a force together that will be instrumental in, uh, what's this name? 
and pressure in the other side of their can. So maybe we can't get down to ground level right now, which is lame and annoying and crappy on my part. But what we can do Okay, let's go ahead and make the upgrade there. Give them the fun pack. Okay, we probably need to expand here as well. So I probably need to be looking for a place since they're not really under too much serious pressure here. So we should be looking for a way in which those guys can also be handy with the steel and earn their keep uh, as the rap stylings of uh, not notorious anybody, uh, Nate Dog. Not Nate Dog. Nate Dog in the company of his good friend, Nate G. Yeah, is it Nate G? I don't know. No, Warren G. What the heck is wrong with me? Nate Dog and Warren G. Sorry, my my head is not not. It's in the game. Uh, maybe to a fault, it's in the game. Let's see. Let's see if they have any defensive. Forces, oh god dang. Oh bother, oh gripe. They won't get very far, but we should come in and make a show of helping. Okay, oh no, they got another greater spire. Which means they absolutely do have the ability to uh, make another one of their uh, lousy uh, guardian guardian legends against me, which I don't appreciate uh, the guardian legend very much, I will say. And let's get all these scads of guys together. Okay, probably a little too early for that, but uh, whatever. Let's get this road on the show, right? Let's get this show on the road. And yeah. Oh, Death Team 5. Oh, man. There we go. That attack looked a lot worse than it really was. It did look pretty bad though, didn't it? All right, cool. So now they're gonna try to get some ground troopers in here to disturb me, but it's not gonna work, because I'm already, as uh, my shrink has told me, incredibly disturbed. A disturbed individual. Aha! Jeez. This place is just rife with uh, resources. Where's this other attack going on? I don't recognize your attack. Alright, man. They do like to come at me, uh, bro, but uh, their ability to come at me, luckily, is severely proscribed you might say you might say if you're being real pretentious or you might just say they can't they can't touch this do, do, do. okay might want to get some dudes up there do we have any dudes on hand or are we dudeless we're nearly dudeless at this point and it's not oh no we, we've got lots of dudes what the heck is, what the heck all right there we get up that ultra list then because if there's one group of enemies I'm tired oh god oh come on okay probably should have expected that no gosh darn it you guys want to go ahead and jump in your uh, bunker there holy crap get in a bunker actually it's kind of funny because he's just he's actually wasting quite a bit of time Okay, cool. So they actually achieved not much of anything, which is fantastic, but it's also not fantastic because I need more whatever's there. 
send some of you guys up too. I should be doing more scouting with these guys, by the way, and I'm well, well aware of that. Oh, crap. Maybe you can dance a little bit. Yeah? Cool. Great job, guys. Ah, uh, frick. SCV is always in short supply. Never, never exactly where you need them to be because they're so darn precious. They're like gold. So let's just build a bunch of them, put them down here. And let's get these guys over here as well. Because we're going to need to be able to fend off attacks to this area. This is an important area that I would very much like to keep as my own. Cool. Probably don't need this guy over here. So yeah, we want to we wanna claw that territory away from him if we can. Cool. Where at? Not too much. Good. Okay. Like I said, I'd like to do a little bit more advanced scouting to see what the deal is over on the other side, but I really can't get around to that yet uh, because of uh, the preponderance of enemies right now. There's just way too much crap going on with all these bad dudes and uh, having a hard time getting at it right now. Yeah, nobody likes this crap. Okay, still, at this point, we're doing all right. Even with the uh, ridiculousness of their queens being sent in and doing their deadly work against us. Let's fly in here. Let's see how much how much impunity do we have? Do we have a lot of impunity? Everybody likes to have a good amount of impunity in their actions. And it looks like that other than getting slimed by that stupid queen. We can Whoa! Now that sucked. Well, if we got time, I'll get him healed up if we got time. Who knows if we'll have time. I feel like we won't. All right, cool. Get in there. Get in there. God dang it. All right, good. Yeah, now we're, now we're into the purple, the purple people eater territory. Okay, good. We should recover that. We've taken a lot of pressure off that place, though. Because their attacks are nowhere near as concerted as they were before. Which is nice. I'm very happy about Oh, god dang. Now, come on. Let's not get into these fights with mass hydrolysts. Nobody likes that. Okay, cool. Like I said, I'd like to start foraying out there a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and set up uh, another command center here. It would be nice if we could move those other dudes over here, but I really don't know if that'll work out. Uh, we're at serious manner? No, not serious. Good. All right, let me look at what's beyond here. I want to see what we're really... I think we, our forces can connect at some point here. Uh, God dang it, we're just a little bit off from seeing exactly how we can connect up. Really? God dang it. Alright, I'm really bad at this pylon game. My pylon game is just not there. Am I paying attention to the pylons? Let's build a fleet beacon too, because we got all that money. And I want to be able to, and while we're at it, let's build the Citadel of a Dune and a bunch of other crazy crap that I'm not paying any attention to, because I'm paying all my attention to my slow advance 
with the uh, Terrence here. All right. So far, so all right. Not great, but uh, not too bad. We got another aircraft here. So let's put you guys together. And uh, new Death Team 6 with maximal members. You never have too many of these. And yeah, I really want to kind of go on an adventure with these guys to take a look. I mean, they're so powerful that, yes, there is a little bit of risk associated with that, but it's not like, it's not a, it's not a risk that I'm extremely uncomfortable with. And I feel like very soon we'll be able to just go down to the floor and take that anyway. But I like to advance from the other side, and that's kind of the problem we're having right here, is that, uh, okay, we're not really close to running out of resources here. It's a good problem to have, right? Aha, and that's their entrance right there. So let's go ahead and block that off. Uh, do we have some dudes we can send up? Yeah, probably. Yeah, eventually. We build more tanks, but we can probably go ahead and move up some of our tank power. And though maybe he wasn't the right one to move up, I don't know. We're pretty much destroying this red camp here, which is cool. I'm happy about that. Yeah. Cool. Boys, get the heck into the bunker. Yeah, and you can get in there. But right now I feel like the enemy, we've still got the purples to deal with, but the reds are severely hurt. You don't see them sending their ridiculous numbers of mutas against us anymore. You don't see them sending guardians against us anymore. Although maybe they will. And they're just lulling me into a false sense of security, which is absolutely could be a deal. Uh, let's go ahead and build a nuke silo. I want to do some scouting, but I also want to do some nuking. I don't know. I don't. I don't really have a lot of use for nukes, but uh, I'm sure they could pay off in some form or fashion. Okay, I can probably move him out of there too because he's no longer doing what I need him to do anyway. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's what I really want to piece of is that darn that hatchery right there. Let's uh, stop their ability to produce troops. At the same time, it's another expansion. I mean, holy crap. Are we being spoiled or what? I mean, are we, are we just being completely spoiled? Just the amount of resources on this map is staggering. Uh, so we gotta keep putting them to good use. Okay, so let's look at team number five here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at what the heck's going on while those guys are heavily invested in that red camp. Let's see if I can find a way for us to kind of join hands here. Aha, are we, are we invested in this camp? No, I don't believe we are. So cresting this hill and setting up a, a deal on it might be just the thing to do. Aha. I think we found our bridge to our other forces. Let's shoot him down while we're at it. Just for funsy onesies. Very good. Do I find, eh, didn't mean to do that at all. Death team five, okay. And there we go. There's our link between the two sides. Excellent, 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 excellent. Okay. So good. We've got another red camp though. We've got to take care of it. So. Two ways up, which is nice. Kinda nice. I mean, it could be a lot worse. Send you dorks over here. Where's the, uh, okay. Let's see if they'll allow us up here. Without any undue problems, they will, because if they were going to fight us, then they certainly would have fought us right there. Okay, guys. Get the hell out of the way. God dang it. Now we will go ahead and take this hill as our own and continue the fight. Let's go ahead and join in with our boys here. 
for doing a lovely job, an absolutely lovely job. And uh, we, you know, we're just about ready to just say to hell with all this and uh, go in there and just kick some rear end with a bunch of infantry. Oh, I need cloaking ability too. Can we get the cloaking ability? I don't think it'll really do anything since the enemy is not really... Okay. Anyway, here's the... We've got left of that red camp there. It is pretty weakly defended. So it might not even be worth all this effort I'm putting into it. Although I can see how I might want to build another... Oh, I didn't build my upgrades like I said I was going to. You're a damn liar. Oh. Okay. Let's get this guy up too. Alright, cool. Okay. Death Team 6. You want to try to... Uh, see if they'll allow us to just destroy their hive here. It seems they will. So that's nice. Appreciate that, boys. Yeah, I don't think they can build anything else other than... So I think the reds are pretty much... Yeah. Oh. But the purples aren't finished. No, they aren't. But that's fine. It's a lot of whatever as far as I'm concerned. Alright, boys. No, that's not enough yet. Whoa, hey, hey. Who told you to go up there and make out with the spore colony? Thank you. Idiots. Right. You kids take a powder. Alright. Oh! That's okay, I'm not concerned. Nah, the purples can do all that stuff if they want to. It is not gonna help them. Alright. Alright. Good. It's kind of what I wanted to happen the whole time, but it didn't happen. Until very later, and not very later. Until lately. Alright. So now my next strategy is to, you know, finish off uh, the red guys there, the red sauce, finish them off, which should be easy, but I don't want to say that, because it might not, also might not be easy. All right. So let's bring you guys down to the floor, along with the combat units here. Okay, and along with, of course, everybody's favorites, Death Team 5, the Scouts. Let's see if they're actually, if they're going to resist at all. It doesn't seem like they will, which I appreciate. The only thing we might see, I think, let's go ahead and have them... Yeah, gosh darn it. Nobody told your butt to go up there and try to fight him. Alright, fine. I haven't made them into a concerted death team yet. Whoa, whoa, okay, let's let's just let's just chill with all that. Alright, alright. Let's take it easy here, boys. Okay, you guys, on the other hand, need to not chill with that. They need to get in there and just mop up. A little mopping up operation here. Oh, that's the purples there, and the purples are not cowed at this point. Uh-oh. Go get him. All right, so this is my, where we might want to bunker up 
at our uncowed opponents. I think it's going for you guys. Good. All right. Take it into the heart. All right. The bunker up down here. Build a nuke. Now, I knew that was going to happen. Actually, I didn't know it was going to happen, but I was strongly thinking it may happen. How about that? Okay. Death Team 6, come on over. Uh-oh. Not that way, though, huh? All right, get in there, boys. Let's see if this engenders any kind of response. It should, but it might not, too. How's, the, how's your guys' job going there? Good? Now he ran out of ammo. That's fine. Here, why don't you just go get him? Cool, cool, cool. Oh boy, look at this. Look at this happy guy. Okay, good deal. Well, while we're all just sitting here, let's uh, whoa. Why don't you guys stay behind the line there and we'll use you if we need you, huh? Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. You guys, come on down. I'm sure, there's good work to be done all around. Maybe, uh, how about some more tanks? How about not, right? Okay, cool. Let's build this. If we're gonna build a supply depot, might as well build it where uh, it will also be a nice defensive structure. So this is, we're getting into it right here. The purple area, this is where we want to be. Uh, because I think that, yeah, there's the overmind right there. So you see, we're, we're within uh, appreciable distance of a victory here. You know, just like I said, 1984. Oh, God. Don't get yourself killed, bro. Don't get yourself killed. We like out of resources. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, sorta. Well, help yourself. Look at us. Wow. I didn't have to watch that one happen, did I? It's almost it's almost like overkill to take this out because that I don't think they have any ability to produce any more troops at this point. Alright, so I'm gonna actually link up my forces. Oh, wait a second. Back off a little bit, boys. Because the unfortunate fact of the matter is, while they do not have... What don't they have? Who's the guy who's not whole? They do have a fair amount of uh, whatevers. Whoa, ho, ho. hey, boys. Nobody told you to go one-on-one -on -one with... Uh, these wieners, okay. But anyway, uh, so let's 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 just play it safe here. All right, come on up here, valiant forces, and we're gonna go ahead, honey. Yeah. Are you gonna edit my video? Why? What's wrong? I don't know. So we're gonna set up a few of these right here. Just to be right. I thought we built another one of these guys, didn't we? Yeah, we did. But of course we didn't move them up because we haven't paid attention to anything for a long time. But these guys should not pose a real appreciable threat. We'll probably get these forces that were in reserve. Not use Zeratul for Pete's sake. Last thing I need is for you to 
and risk your rear end. So the key is, yeah, we need to creep forward. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to build something here. And then we've got that, so let's go ahead and build our Ah, crap. Get back, boys. That's okay. That's okay. Let him, let him come up and get killed. That's fine with me. He is of his rights to come up. What? Do I not have enough minerals? Bad news bears right there. We're not out of resources anywhere, and I sent up all those guys to come farm here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, whatever. Get in there. Got to put the pressure on them from both sides. From all sides. You guys are no longer useful up there. So get your butts down here. Yep. I know this is kind of a slow advance. But that's cool. built one of these floating uh, what's his faces in quite a while I'm afraid so now we're gonna do it because it's, it's long overdue as the uh, not the Backstreet Boys but those other guys uh, the uh, boys the men would say okay you guys want to take a pot shot up there at uh, that that'd be cool Where's the other guy at? Ah, oh, he got all tangled up. What a dork. I hate it when they do that. No, don't do that. Don't do that, please. Don't do that, please. Can you please take your shots, guys? They had a reverse. You just can't count on them taking their shots when you want them to. There we go. Oh, man, we've got our own forward observer right there. We don't want him to get up too far because I got all these scourge around. But it looks like now our path is pretty well opened up. And maybe we should not be effing around like we are. Hey, where's my, where's my, there you are. Okay, you want to come over here for me, dude? Not around the stupid way where you're going to get killed. Okay, yeah, alright, now we're just being dunces. Wow, all the cool people are advancing and we're just... Oh, boy. It's a good thing Death Team 5 is reporting to the battlefield. Uh, well, kinda. Alright, because we're not going to be able to do too much against those guys. God dang it. Everybody always wants to take too many steps forward. Alright. 
So where's my boy at? Did he come around? Or did he not come around? Okay. Okay, what the hell were we doing? I'm sorry, I was looking for my uh, nuke man. And now I don't know what happened to him. Okay. Yeah, concerted ground assault, pretty much. deep we can get in here before somebody makes us pay for it but I, it doesn't look like anybody's gonna really make us pay for it which I appreciate because the last thing I want to do is pay for anything uh, yeah their biggest threat right now are their uh, what's this now spawn broodling is a threat the scourge are a threat but obviously if we don't come in on the uh, on the land then it doesn't matter now does it aha now they send a little bit of air units uh, air power against us, but it's a very little consequence. Whoa. Yeah, I have no idea what happened to my dude, but my, uh, my nukester. Nuke Sylvania. No idea what happened to him. So yeah, we're pretty much just clearing the way right now. Let's see, can we get him around this way without engendering any kind of response? Yes, we can. All right, cool. All right, cool. And let me see, I don't have to have Zero Tool do anything, do I? Yeah, that's it. So the Overmind's right there. So I'm wasting all this time to do a little hot dogging and grandstanding, as they would say. And, uh, but now it's time to El Finito these guys. Uh, which is what I'm about to do. Let's get in here. Uh huh. So let's send Death Team 5. Yeah, look at that guy. That's okay, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna get involved in the, the attack of the many scourges if I can avoid it. And the Overmind, it's got a lot of health. You're not gonna just come in there incidentally and take him out, that's for sure. But there isn't that much more to this map, I don't think. Let me look at some real quick. And so I built that nuke for no reason. Oh, look at it, is another geyser up here? I was just wondering what was up here. So that's it. Yeah, but for some reason, Jake. But I fear for some. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, he seems to think he's going to uh, have to sacrifice himself to win this battle, which is kind of ridiculous because we handily won this battle. So yeah. So anyway, yeah. I don't, I don't like like I said a couple of times they kind of bring the heat pretty hard there, but uh, in reality, this is not that tough of a mission. I would say the protest on protest combat, especially when they're using their uh, ridiculous uh, arbiters to freeze you constantly, those are the toughest ones. But yeah, we're treated to the ending animation here. Where we see that. Wow, they're really small compared to a carrier in that case. It's a weird command room.
Those mutalists look awfully blocky, huh? They don't look like they would look so blocky on the map. Then yeah, he's gonna use his psionic energy or whatever. Crash directly into the overmind. Or I would say it wasn't really that tough because like like I said, we were not we were not losing that battle. And about wow, what a weird place to command from. You stand like on top of a, a pillar. That'd be uncomfortable since you can't just, you know, sit down. I don't know how he knew this was gonna work, but uh, whatever'sville, daddy-o. And that's the end of that. So. No, oh, wow, that's weird. That's different than the other one. But, uh, because now we got like the battle net background for this one. Usually I beat it off the disc. It's uh, a little bit different as I remember. I could be wrong here. But anyway, yeah, this is, this is a fun as hell game. It's no surprise to anyone that this became so popular and so many people played it for so many years. Um, and uh, certainly that last mission is a lot of fun. Although I would say, at, I mean, there were a few times where I felt like the computer had me on the ropes. They were really uh, resisting. But the fact that the game it gives you so much high ground, and the Protoss had a lot of had a lot of ground they could have covered as well. And there's probably some areas that I didn't explore exactly. I really half rear-ended it with the um, with the Protoss there, which you know, sorry about that. But uh, when it comes to like you know, taking the high ground and going ahead and uh, push, push, push. I definitely prefer doing it with the Terran. I feel more comfortable. I feel like the unit's a lot more reliable for that. And uh, probably could have, yeah, like I said, a little bit earlier we could have went. But eventually, yeah, we broke the power of the reds. And after we broke the power of the reds, the purples by themselves were not really able to do a whole heck of a lot uh, to threaten our progress. So yeah, it was it was a great time right there, at least for me, and uh, years in the making because I just like I don't know I might have been going to a different language or something, and I just uh, didn't feel like I had the time to f around. Didn't have the time to f around with the uh, messing with the game uh, at that final level, and plus I don't like playing with the Protoss, so for some reason I didn't do it. My dad noticed that. I was like, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Since we've already played English for the Zerg and for the uh, the humans. So, I guess the next step is to go through all of Brood War. Which, Brood War is uh, kind of interesting because I find some of Brood War to be a bit easier. Especially because they kind of baby you at the beginning. Because they give you so many new units. That they... Um, a lot of the units have a tutorial type feel. Or a lot of the scenarios have a tutorial type feel to them. Which is, you know, easy. And, uh, whatever, right? Oh, look at there's James White Boy Page. Okay. Uh, the strike team. Jeez Louise, look at all these people. They've got associate producers for everything, to include the uh, Macintosh guy, because... The Reverend Dan Moore did the scenario layout. I wonder if he just got one of those cards from the internet companies like he can... I always found that kind of in poor taste, but uh, what are you going to do? I guess if, if you want to do a wedding. Some of these names are being repeated too, by the way. Uh, geez the weed. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, that was a fun one. I never could beat that on the StarCraft 64, which is how I first started playing this was on StarCraft 64. And I really don't even, I don't have it. I was borrowing it from a friend. If I had it. I'd like to play it again just to see how it actually works as far as, like, how in the world could you control this game? You know, it, might, it would have to be extremely awkward if you're used to playing it with a keyboard. I wasn't used to playing it with a keyboard. I played Warcraft. 
and Warcraft 2 with on the keyboard, but StarCraft, I really got my meatiest uh, sinking my teeth into playing it with, uh, this is the Reverend Dan Morgan, uh, but I got my meatiest uh, exposure to it in the beginning uh, with playing it on the N64, which seems like an awful way to play a game like this. Because I, I remember you used like the analog stick and all. It just it just was so. Uh, what's his name? Aaron Sakamoto. Maybe he's related to Bob Sakamoto from Seinfeld. That we never actually saw on the screen. Hey, I'm so lucky. I spawned in oh, it's holy crap! I was thinking, is that it? But that's not it. Jeez, always look at these credits. But I wouldn't dream of keeping you apart. From these beautiful credits although they certainly could have had more in the ending as far as uh they would have an epilogue too but i don't think they had an epilogue for this one uh but like i said yeah i guess next stop would be oh, go ahead and take care of the game on the um the whatever uh the expansion set which i probably will do i i've done that just recently it's not too tough uh, even wifey was able to get that far, although she can't beat the last level, which is, you know, that's pretty sad, but Because the last level of the expansion is not extremely hard, although it is tedious Kind of like this one. Oh, this one I wouldn't call it tedious because I had a lot of fun doing this Jeez, how many people worked on this? How many positions they have is a better question because these guys did not actually Okay, Jesus. Looks like we're getting to the end here. We got business development and legal counsel. But, uh, anyway. You know, it's too bad they never made that first person shooter that StarCraft goes. Although, I think first, first person shooters were going out of vogue by that time. Uh, possibly. I don't know. Uh, because I remember that was the hot game for a while. It was the hot genre, you know. If you had a first-person shooter in the vein of Doom or Quake, you could probably make some good money. But then, of course, they had to go ahead and uh, they had to go ahead and switch it on up until the MMOs became such a big deal. And then StarCraft really got left behind in the dust because I was waiting for StarCraft too for quite some time. I felt the story kind of left me left me hanging. And I want an answer to it, but of course I would have to wait about 10 years for that. And by that time, I had, you know, in 10 years, my taste had changed quite a bit. And then also I was a bit angry at, uh, whoa, that's an old alert on the old phone there, which is definitely loud enough. Look at all those, uh, thanks right there. Senator California, salty dog Republican. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but, uh. Oh, Jackie Chan as well. No pixels were harmed, to the best of our knowledge. Very nice. Oh, you're so clever, you guys. Oh, my God, really? No, no, no. You're not going to play all that. You're not going to do that, too, are you? All right, that's probably enough. Holy crap. Okay, uh, well, thanks for watching. I'm not going to make you go through all this because I didn't realize they were going to go through all this stuff. Okay, so have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.